Ladies and gentlemen, how you doing? I'm Billy Carrington. Uh, I've been, these uh, videos I've been putting out, I'm really getting some awesome, uh, 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 I guess you'd say, just people contacting me, letting me know what they think about it, some information off of that, and, and just uh, a response is the word I was looking for. And the response has been good. Uh, I've got another request for three more videos, and in, this, in these three, uh, the gentleman is looking for enthusiasm in the workplace. And it's uh, with, the, with his employees, his sales employees. So I'm looking forward to doing that. We're getting ready to start that one. And then the next one is uh, oh, uh, uh, closing sales inside the store. they got numerous different products that they can either use at home, car, so on and so forth. So we're going we're gonna to go right into a sales spiel, a sales spiel and, and uh, be able to close the sale, show them how to close the sale. And then the third third request from uh, this gentleman is uh, if if his uh, people could uh, uh, do the phone a little bit better. So I'm gonna I'm gonna do some stuff like how I talk to people on the phone and uh, kind of get it out there. So right now I want to get right into this. And so we're gonna do this. The first one's called enthusiasm and uh, it's enthusiasm in the workplace. So ready or not, here we come. I want you to roll up your sleeves because this is gonna be this is gonna be like I say high geared, ready to go. So roll up your sleeves, let's jump in there. Let's just do that right now. Okay, right now you're on your way into work. What I want you to do, you're coming into work. I want you excited about work. You haven't met me yet, but you're going to, or you're gonna watch my videos. So as you're coming into work, you're you're driving your car, I want you to put in some music in there. Either some uh, they got they got really some awesome rock uh gospel out now or some rock and roll or or just some really uh, awesome uh, rap music that can get you up something that'll fix you up and what you want to do is start getting that mindset as soon as you leave that house you remember you're coming into work i'm going to be there and be a part of it i want your mindset geared up ready to go because you're going to be making a fortune in sales you are i mean you're going to be a part of a a very distinguished elite uh people in the world and that's the sales people these are sales professionals, so you, I've got to uh, tweak you in a way to where you're, you, when you go into sales and you're representing not only yourself or the business, but you're also representing all of us that are in sales throughout the world. I mean, we, you can't make us look bad because we're doing our job and we're here to help you along the way, and we all, we all help each other. So, uh, like I say, but you got, you got to be, you got to be focused as a professional to do this. Like I say, so you're coming into work, you're geared up, you got the music going, it sounds awesome, you're coming in, the adrenaline's pumping, you know that it's going to be an exciting day as soon as you hit that door. And here you come in, I want you to come in like you're going to kick the door down. I mean, hey ya! Just come in and kick it down and come in, and every morning you just get up, because see, if I was there, I'd be having a meeting, fired up and ready to go. You know, I, I, like I say, if you have to, some people have to use products like a different high, high geared, uh, high extreme caffeine products and then there's other products that's over the counter that, that you can purchase. But whatever it takes to get you get you going like that at the very beginning, okay? But you won't need it later. Because later on it's gonna be what's inside you. That burning desire to succeed. That is what's gonna take you through your whole career in sales. Wherever you go, you'll remember what I'm telling you. Because my main job and what I do, I'm like a, I am, uh, my family was in farming, so I'm, I'm still really considered a farmer because what I do, I plant seeds in the sales people. I plant seeds in the sales businesses. I plant seeds into seeds into owners. And what happens then? When I plant those seeds, when I plant those seeds, when I plant those seeds in you, you're going to turn right around and those seeds will grow and that will be your sales. Those seeds will grow, and that will be your company sales. Those seeds will grow, and that will be your personal sales. Those seeds will grow, and that will be that business owner looking at his profit. If you maintain it, if you maintain it, and you keep motivating your crew, your team will excel to higher, to higher places that you'd never even thought of that they could go. And it's all about how you stay focused, using your mind, think when you have to, but also be there to cheer them on. Because everybody has to have motivation. Everybody does. I mean, you get up in the morning 
and uh, you, you, you start your day that way, and once you get up, you're going to drink something because you haven't drank in, what, four hours? And even sleeping over four hours, we're going to talk about that too. But anyway, right now, like I say, when you're getting up, you've you got to have something to drink. It's like motivation. You go in there, you get your cup of coffee, glass of water, and you start drinking. Well, your body's got to have re, your body's got to rehydrate throughout the day anyway. So you've got to have that motivation. Okay, so that's, that's just part of it. And once you get used to it, then your, your mindset will change. Because those seeds I planted, those seeds I planted, those seeds I planted, they're going to start to grow in size. And, they, and, I'm, and they're all good. It's nothing bad. It's all good. And so uh, as you start to go through that, you see about drinking water in the morning. Also, your body's got to have nourishment. You've got to eat three times a day. That's the way it is with motivation. You've got to have forms of motivation. <laughs> Forms of motivation to keep your team moving. Yeah, it's like switching a gear in a car. <coughs> Shift up the high gear, baby. We're in sales now. You know, it's none of that other stuff. You're up there ready to go. And that's just what it is. It's like if you go without bathing for three days, you're going to be stinking a little bit, ain't you? <laughs> I know I will be. So that's just the way motivation is. you got to have motivation daily. You know, you can get on the Internet, look around, find out some great motivational speakers, Whatever it takes, you have to repeat this every morning until you finally get it soaked in. Because after a certain time, after a certain time, there will you'll you'll get to a point to where you'll start to motivate yourself. You'll start to motivate yourself, and you'll motivate others around you. And it'll just be like a glow, and and it'll be awesome because it won't stop. It'll be something that it's just like. I don't drink a lot of caffeine. I can't no more. I mean, I used to drink it, and you ought to see me when I do drink caffeine. Man, I had to back off of it. So, okay, now we're back at the shop or the office or your store or whatever you want to call it. You're there. You're geared up. You, you come in this morning, and you, you listen to your music like I asked you to. You come in. You're fired up. Adrenaline. You're coming in. Now, your customers, you're open. Your customers are going to start coming in. And I'm going to tell you something. This old song I used to hear. And I tell people, when I train people, I try to get them a song. Because that's like planting that seed, a song or something in their hand that they'll remember people by. So when you see customers coming in, I want you to think of it this way. When they're coming in, there's no song by Redbone, and uh, I think some other bands play it too. But it's just no song. And like I say, it don't really stress on the music part of it. But I, what I want you to do is just me planting the seed in you. That way, every time you look at that door and somebody comes in, you're going to remember this part of the video. And it's like when they come in, you remember that song? It's with a little something like this. Come and get your love. Come and get your love. Come and get your love now. Uh-huh. Okay, so now you've heard that. Okay, so now when they're coming in, this is what they're saying to you. Come and get your sales. Come and get your sales. Come and get your sales now. Uh-huh. Come and get your sales. Come and get your sales. Come and get your sales now. Uh-huh. And that's what you're going to think. Every time somebody comes to that door, you're going you're gonna to hear that song in your head. Come and get your sales. That's your sales. That's your cue. Then all of a sudden, that heart starts pumping. That heart starts pumping. That heart starts pumping. Because why? I just planted the seed in you. Because it may take you a little bit, but you're going to get you're going to get down to it. Okay, so you go around and you you, you, you call them over here like this. Hey, good morning, good morning. Because it's morning, you just came in. Remember, you come in. Okay, your your morning. You're not having anything else in your hands. Your hands are going to be what you're going to be talking with. You're going to keep your hands open just like that. You're going to talk just like that to the customer. You're going to bring them over and you're going to say, Hey, guys, we got some awesome deals. Right down here in aisle three, right over here in aisle three. Let me show you. We just got some new products in. We're going, uh, we're going to put them out there real quick. We'll get them in. We got a hot deal on them. They think these products probably are going to go up in price because uh, they're new. But right now, the suggested retail price is thirty four ninety five. But today, what we're going to do, since they're brand new, we're going to push them and get them out the door. If you buy more than one for twenty five ninety nine, twenty five ninety nine out the door. Man, what a deal. I mean, you're already saving that much money, almost 10 bucks right there on each item. If you, as long as you buy more than one, you can take it. Man, let me tell you what, how many do you need? Let's go ahead and get you, let's go ahead and get, you, get you set up. We'll get you over the counter. Sounds like an awesome deal, right? I knew you'd like it. Come on, let's go. Hey, man, I got a customer here, and uh, they're going to be needing to be need, uh, roll up, paperwork done. Can you do that for me? Awesome. You hear that doorbell again. Or whatever, however your door opens. You you know that door when it opens. Trust me. You're working there long enough, you know how that door sounds. I, I always get all my sounds right. Front door, back door, I know when they open. So what you're going to do, all of a sudden you're going to hear that door open again. And there's that song again. You're going to look up and you're going to go, man, that Billy, 
You done got that hit song in my head? It's stuck. <laughs> what was the song? <laughs> you remember it, right? Yeah, okay. Come and get your sales, come and get your sales, come and get your sales now. Uh-huh. Come and get your sales, come and get your sales, come and get your sales now. Uh-huh. So see, I can't sing and I know it. But it's just little things that I'll do. Just like even trying to remember people's names or something like customer. You, it, because you want to keep these customers. You want their names, their phone numbers, their addresses. So where you can either mail something out, like a flyer at a later time. Mail them out, let them know if some new uh, products are coming in. Or you want to also be able to call them up. Instead of having a cold call, you've already broke that cold call just a little while ago. So now it's your, your buddies, your best of friends, because you just saved them 10 bucks on each product that they just purchased. That's 20 bucks you saved them. They know that. They may not remember your name, but they're going to remember your face. I mean, that face right there, that million dollar smile. That million dollar smile. <laughs> Praise the Lord for that. But that's what they're going to remember about you. They're going to remember your name. I mean, your name there, no problem. But they're going to remember your face and how you performed, how you performed, how you performed and conducted yourself in front of them. And I mean, if you're upbeat and you don't go into details about your family, about what is going on in your family, you know, or why so-and-so didn't buy when somebody else did, you, that, that stuff got to stay somewhere else. We don't worry about that. All you worry about is closing, is closing, is closing this deal here. And that's that new one that just came in. And you're going to turn right around and you're going to throw them with another spill and say, right down here, right down here on aisle two this time, we're going to go down through here and i got some products or cosmetics. Just got them in. I want to show them to you. And then, uh, because the guys that came in was two, two old guys. But you're going, to, you're going to hit them with a spill, a spill something like this. Hey guys, you know, there's an anniversary coming up in your family, I know that, or somebody's birthday, your mother, your sisters, somebody in the family, maybe somebody at church, maybe one of the elderly ladies there are going to be needing some products, beauty products. We've got them right here, just got them in. Come here and check them out. And you'll go through your spill with them. And when you use your hands to talk, this is, this is what I call this. When you show a product, you've got to make that product, I don't care what it is, make that product the best product in the world. That is the that product is brand new on the market. It's the best. Nobody else has it. And you're going to do your hands in a way. It's what everybody's always told me. It's called the Vanna White. It just you present your items. You present your items. And you give that smile. You give that smile. And you let them and say you take your take your hands from your body like that, and they'll follow your hands opening to the product. You put your hand up, keep that palm up like that, smile. It's called the Vanna White. And that's just what I've been told and God bless her, she does such an excellent job at it. If you ever get to watch her watch her perform on the on on the Will of Fortune. I mean she is just it's just beautiful how she does it too. And she's done it for so long. She is professional and I mean she's a legend at this. She knows how to smile, she knows how to present she why she presents herself. And you, and you follow what she does. She's in control. She's in control the whole time. And I mean, and that's called the Man of White. You, you're doing that. You're showing it the products. And please, ma'am, I don't mean nothing bad, but I, it's just what I was told it was called. So anyway, she, like I say, she is a professional at it, and that's why, you, that's why it's called that. Now, real quick, the timer's going off. We've got to make these short. And uh, so... Don't get discouraged. We're going to come right back into it with another one. But uh, right now, what I want you to do is talk amongst each other. Keep those sleeves rolled up because we're still in this. We're going to end, we're going to we're going to continue on and come right back in with another one. Thank you all. Like I say, do not downshift. Stay up in high gear because I'm not. I'll be right back. <laughs>